welcome to today's Shocktober episode. Uh, finally not back in the car again. Um, so today we're going to be talking about a movie I really enjoyed called The Final Girls. Um, now don't be confused. There are two movies with a similar, similar title. God, I still didn't say it right the second time. Similar title. Uh, there's one on Netflix called The Final Girl. Uh, singular. Which is actually an interesting movie. I, I have watched it. Uh, it's it's a little more uh, style over substance, um, but it's it's interesting. It's worth uh, checking out. Um, but no, today we're talking about the one called The Final Girls, plural, and this is a horror comedy from 2015. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. It's basically uh, I'll just read the synopsis here right off of the Letterbox website that I'm looking at. But it says, a young woman grieving the loss of her mother, a famous screen, scream queen from the 1980s, finds herself pulled into the world of her mom's most famous movie. Reunited, the woman must fight off the film's maniacal killer. Uh, yeah, so it's a horror comedy about a group of friends. It's like um, they watch this uh, horror movie every year. It's like the anniversary of the horror movie. It's kind of like a Friday the 13th ripoff. And it's like this movie that has this big cult following. And her mom was like one of the stars of the movie. But she's like the shy girl. They keep calling her the shy girl with the clipboard. And she gets killed after boning this dude. But uh, this group of friends gets... Uh, they're in the theater watching the movie. And one of them is the girl's daughter. And she... They all get pulled into the movie. And uh, they kind of start like living out the events of the movie. One of the guys is like a super fan. So he just wants to sit back and watch all these people get axed and... Like, yeah, I assume at the end we can just, you know, when the movie's over, we'll get out. Um, but uh, it doesn't go that way. Eventually, the killer starts recognizing them and killing them and, like, thinks they're characters. Uh, but it, it was really fun. It's really funny. Um, I love horror comedies, but I love horror movies that subvert the genre. And self aware horror movies are nothing new, but um, this one gives it a unique spin and manages to have some heart at the same time. Um, cause the whole crux of the story is this girl whose mom was the, in this movie and the movie opens with them hanging out and, uh, they get into a car accident and her mom dies and it's like a year later. And so she's, uh, hanging or, you know, her friend convinces her to go to the screening and then there's a fire in the theater and they kind of cut the screen and jump in and that's how they end up in the movie. But, um, it, it's it's got a great cast first of all uh nina dobrev if you watched uh what was that show vampire diaries um thomas middleditch yeah adam divine from uh what was the name of that show workaholics which he's great uh and there's you know it's you got the characters that fit the stereotypes of these type of movies like there's the slut who like can barely manage to keep her clothes on and like her whole the whole concept of her character she's just like the whole thing is she performs a strip tease at some point in the movie which brings the killer out and she's just like constantly wanting to take off her clothes so they put her in like a life jacket with mittens and stuff so she can't do anything and they, they are literally just the interpretations of their characters like adam divine is the dude bro and uh it's it's also like a period movie though it takes place in like the 70s or 80s and um so they kind of play with some humor for that and then they have the hero, the girl who's supposed to be the hero of the movie who, you know, it's like, oh, the virgin is the hero in the uh, slasher film, but she's like this hardcore biker chick looking girl and she ends up getting killed right away. Like they're like, all right, well, let's just like stick to her and like follow the plan of the movie and everything will be fine because the killer will just kind of ignore us because we're not part of the plan. Um, but, um, like immediately everything goes wrong and like the hero of the movie ends up getting killed. And so they're like, oh fuck, now what are we going to do? And then now they have to start kind of changing the movie. But, uh, the twist kind of comes in where, um, the main actress, she wants to save her mom, even though it's not really her mom, it's this character in the movie. But, um, and Malin Ackerman plays the mom who I, I think is a great actress and she's a great choice. Uh, I don't know how to say the main actress's name. Ty Taisa for Formiga? Uh, I have no idea. She's been in a few things, but um that page is not loading right now, so I can't tell you exactly what. Okay, she was in the Bling Ring, which was terrible. She's gonna be in that nun movie that's coming out based on the conjuring. 
Uh, and she was in some other stuff that I don't recognize. But um, everybody was, like, really great in the movie. Everybody kind of played their part. Um, there's some funny stuff where, you know, it's technically the movie takes place in, like, the 70s or 80s. And they're referencing stuff nowadays, like cell phones and stuff and Pilates and all these, like, kind of upscale things that nobody really knew or cared about in the 70s. So there's just, like, what are you talking about? Um, but the final girls is highly entertaining. It's really funny. Like at first when I started to watch, I had heard that this movie was good, but I, I didn't know. Obviously you never know until you see it for yourself. But when I started it, I was kind of like, Oh man, is this going to be good? Is this going to be garbage? I have no idea, but it turned out to be really great and I loved it. And I highly recommend the final girls. Um, if you love a horror comedy, I think you have to watch it. If you want those movies that subvert the genre, kind of like Cabin in the Woods and stuff like that, it's along those same lines, but taking a different, a little more fantastical approach. Not that <laughs> fucking Cabin in the Woods wasn't fantastical with what they were doing, but it's just another way to uh, look at it. But yeah, highly recommend The Final Girls. And that's going to be it for today's Shocktober episode. Sorry if you heard a lot of uh, random noise in the background. My cats are just freaking out right now. They're running around playing. I have no idea what's going on. But some of that might have picked up. But sorry about that if it did. But uh, that's going to be it for Shocktober today. Check back tomorrow for our next film.